What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video. Today, we're gonna to be installing some running boards on the Cybertruck. Uh, so as you can see right here, uh, I was sent out some running boards from EV Base. Let's take a close look at them. Um, and I am excited to install these. Um, I didn't really end up using the roof racks as much as I hoped. But I think this is going to be something that I'm really going to use quite a bit. Um, I just put the truck in extract mode so I could have as much clearance under there right now to work um, on these running boards. But yeah, this is what they look like. Super cool design. Um, let me, and this is the back here. This is what the back looks like. And it looks like this is the type of thing where it's not actually like a... There's not, no like bolt holes that it goes onto. It kind of slides in place and then you kind of tighten it down. Um, and of course I'll show you guys more of that in a second. But this is everything it came with here. You've got a little pamphlet here on the install manual. You have a 13 and a 10 and a, a pry tool for trim. And then you've got some spacers here. You've got a whole bunch of washers, locking washers, nuts. You've got these here. You got some longer ones right there. And let's look at these. So these are the brackets that attach to the bottom of the cyber truck. So as far as I know from taking a look at the manual quickly, it looks like L1 is going to be at the rear. So you've got L1, L2, L3, and L4. And then on the right side, it's basically the same thing. One starts near the back and it goes four is at the front. Um, and let's go ahead and take a look under here and see if we can see exactly what we're supposed to do here. So I believe we're going to be taking out this bolt right here. So we've got one bolt right here at the front and I'm pretty sure that's the one we're gonna be taking out. So we have one, two, three and four over there. I'm pretty positive those are the four that we're gonna be removing. Um, and we're going to remove those and it's gonna get replaced. Um, a spacer is gonna fit into there. So we're gonna be able to fit a spacer into that spot. Um, and I believe a longer, we're gonna replace that OEM bolt with this one here. And I think that's gonna get a washer. All right, guys, so I just want to go over how these bolts should look. So the longest one, this is kind of how it should look. You have a locking uh, nut washer thing, and then you have the washer, and then there's that spacer for this one. And then for the this one over here, it's going to have that locking washer and then the normal washer, and then these, these, and these are all gonna be meant for that and that'll be later. Um, but right now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the OEM 10 millimeter here. Do is this is supposed to go up in here and then this is supposed to go Right there, and then this goes through it, okay, and then I'm going to take the other bolt. There's just an empty hole over here, essentially, and that's the other one that we're going to be using. So I think the other one is a 13. Let me tighten the 10 a little bit. Like I feel like this, this part here is supposed to like, I thought it would touch up against that, but maybe it's not supposed to. Maybe that's how it's supposed to be. Um, but that's how the first one looks. And I think all the others are essentially the same. Um, so let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna install all the other ones. 
All right, guys, I got all of them installed and tightened down on the driver's side. I'm gonna go ahead and place the running board on it. And uh, let's see how this, how this sits. Here we go. Grab this one here. So it looks like this is how it's supposed to go. So if you guys can see this part, the bracket just goes right over it. I thought maybe it went in here or something like that. No, it just goes right over it. And then we're going to take that little, uh, we're gonna take this little thing here that we got, and that is going to go up here and sit. All right guys, so I just finished up the driver's side. This is what it's looking like. Super freaking cool. So let me just go over how it works again, because it's just, it, it's a little confusing. So basically, um, after you get the bracket on, there's that other piece that sits through the top and then the nut goes on. First it's the washer, then the locking washer, then the, the nut. And you want to make sure this is somewhat lined up over here, or at least it looks, it looks um, lined up perfectly here. And then that's how much room I left on that side, and that's how much room I left on this side. But it feels really good. Super, super solid feeling. Wow, that looks really cool. So right now I'm in extract mode. Let me go ahead and see how much easier it is to get in. So usually I would have to step all the way like this. But now I only have to step right here. Step in, wow, that's it, that's awesome. You know, this is actually gonna make it a lot easier for me to clean the windshield um, and stuff like that. This is super awesome. Wow, yeah, that's, that's awesome, guys. I'm excited to, I'm gonna finish the other side and then I'm gonna lower it because I'm actually quite excited to see how it's gonna look with it being lower. And if you guys are worried about ground clearance, stuff like that, let's go ahead and take a peek here. Let's see. So I would say, let me actually get a measuring tape out and measure this because I don't know, I, I don't think it's, any lower or maybe a tiny bit lower than the mud flaps. Let's see here. So with the mud flaps, we're at we're at 14 inches. The mud flaps are 14, about 14 and a quarter um, right now with the mud flaps. Let's measure this here. At the bottom of that bracket, it's about 14 and a half. So I would say the ground clearance is not being affected at all if you have the mud flaps. If you don't have the mud flaps, yeah, you're, you're, you're getting like 17, 18 inches of ground clearance. On the front, on the front side, we've got about 14 and a half for ground clearance with these mud flaps. Without, it's like freaking 18. Um, in terms of the bracket on the front, about 15, so. Like I said, the if you have the mud flaps, the ground clearance really is not affected. But if you um, have no mud flaps, the ground clearance is kind of uh, gonna be the, uh, a little bit worse. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the other side, and then I'm gonna lower this and uh, show you guys uh, the rest of it. All right, guys, so we're all set. Finish the passenger side. I'm gonna go ahead and lower this baby I want to see what it looks like lowered. 
Let's see here. Drive southwest Click. on Goose Pond. Entry. <laughs> it is just wild the travel that this thing has. Just unbelievable. Wow. That's actually really cool. It kind of makes the whole truck look a little bit lower um, in entry mode. It just, it's almost like a side skirt kind of um, where it's, you know, meant to make the car look a little bit more lower and aggressive. So I got to say, I actually really, really like how this looks. So, wow. Let me see about when it's in entry mode. Like, am I going to use it? Let me see. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> even in entry mode, it's, it's super cool. Wow, that's, that's, that's just awesome. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching this install video. Um, I'm gonna leave the link to this down below. I have a code if you guys wanna use uh, to pick these up. These are super freaking cool and thank you to EV Base for sending these out to me. Really do appreciate it. But anyways guys, thanks for watching and peace out.